Hey guys, it's Gomo here with game 4 of Castle Assault and who do I get matched up with? None other than my good mate uh, Daz who plays Wood Elves and he's played a number of battle reports against me with my Empire and Orcs. I think we're sitting on, um, I think he's won 3 out of, uh, 2 out of the 3 I think. I think he's almost tabled my Empire once, He then I tabled him almost <laughs> with my Empire versus him. And then he wiped my orcs off the board in a practice game a couple of months ago, and we end up, um, yeah, matched up again. So it's going to be uh, interesting. Hopefully, last game that he did wipe my orcs, I, you know, learned a few things. So take that on board and see if I can, um, yeah, improve on this one. So this uh, uh, scenario is King of the Castle. It's basically Watchtower. Um, well, I like it. it's it's Watchtower, but. Um, you're not there's a few tricks around um the uh the rules when you're in it's really a hill rather than a uh, a watchtower so there is some things rule changes around it um yeah basically you're minus one to hit uh, plus one combat res plus one leadership when you're in there on the hill um but you're not stubborn like you are in a building so but apart from that all other building rules um apply and of course it's pretty much five battle points out of the 20 if you're in at the end of the game and two and a half each if none of you are so uh just run through his list now this list is very similar to one if you went right back i think to bat rep nine it's his hidden deployment list <laughs> so he's got a treatment ancient level four life he's got Dryker and a branch wraith three way stalkers about 24 dryads seven uh glade riders and another seven glade riders i think he flicks between true flight and hagbane on them Small two small units of scouts with I think they had a hagmane and two big units of way watchers. It's I might be wrong with some of the numbers and things, but something like that. Um, but pretty much what happens is then he rolls d3 because of Dryka and rolls up a three and ends up with nothing deployed on the battlefield at, like uh, in standard deployment. Um, I get. Sneaky Stabbing and Vindictive Glare, which is definitely what I want against the Wood Elves, at least Vindictive Glare. Um, so two Magic Missiles, uh, Foot of Gork, Brain Burst, a Hand of Gork, and here we go on the big wag. So, so some of the picks are blurry, so I don't know, don't know what we were doing there. Anyway, um, yes, he's rolled a three up. So this is my deployment because there's nothing else on the other side of the board. So basically got my um, I split my rock, two Rock Lobbers are right on either end. <coughs> So I'm basically doing the adjustment that I didn't do last time when I played him. Um, so I've got my wall machines right across the back. Some random movers back there to, to try and protect them. And I've, obviously my, I've got my trolls and my savages. Uh, both of any of them could go into the building. Um, this time I've got my big boss with the trolls again. Just it all comes down to, you know, if something gets sniped or not. And, and really the wolf riders are useless in this, as I learnt last time. They really don't have a target here, so I'm going to just try and hide them and, and or protect the war machines as well, so that's what their job is. Um, obviously try to get my night bombs up to at least get a couple of shots, get the fanatics out and the vindictive glare, and then they'll probably die. Uh, but the savages are aiming to try to get into that building. <clears throat> um, my wyvern, uh, he's going to try to stay close to the savages because I don't expect him to live with all these poison shots. So yeah, it's just my left... And my right. Okay, so going through his, I think now I might hopefully I get all this right. So there's a uh, Waywatch's scout there on the left, and then he's got two um, Way Stalkers. Now he was debating whether or not to leave him out like this, but I think he he just wants the sniper shots in there, and then you know he's going to give them away basically. Uh, so he's got two Way Stalkers there. I think the other big unit at the back there is Way Watchers as well. He's dropped his forest right there in front of the hill. And then he's got the two units of scouts um, out to the right. And he's got another waste orc you can see him behind the hill. And that's pretty much his deployment. And I, he gets first turn. Um, <clears throat> I think I rolled to, to go in the building. Yeah, that's what it was. Um, I was debating whether or not to put the night gobbos in, but I'm going to lose my fanatics then. So I just thought, uh, no. And so he gets first turn and straight away uh, puts a wound on my wyvern with... Um, with poison shots. And then I think he just starts trying to pepper at my night gold, my shaman and all my um, BSB I think he was shooting. 
in this shot. Um, uh, yeah, Nat sees him. So he, he takes off. He basically ends up taking the entire back rank of the uh, Night Goblins off, forces a panic test, and I hold. Um, there's that shot. And the next shot, you'll see there's no back rank there. <laughs> so uh, I get first turn, pass all my animosities, and I move um, my Night Goblins up in range of itch nuisance. So, uh, and Vindictive Glare, and, and move my Savages up, ready to go into the building next turn. Um, I spin my, I move, sorry about the bird pick, pick again, and the Wyvern flies up behind the hill, and spin him around just to protect, you know, if any of his other, um, he's still got two units of Glade Riders to come on, um, so at some point they're going to come on, and if I need to, protect so that doom diver, diver at the back there I, I'll, I'll charge in although I don't really want to get that far away from the rest of my troops patrols and the uh, gobbo hero have just gone up that side um, try and get some uh, into action with some of those glade guard up there <clears throat> um, again it's always a challenge because I don't want to get too far away from the general so uh, not, don't, not totally sure how I'm going to handle that one but anyway they move up there Uh, yeah, you can see him. Sorry, just the movement arrows. And I've sent my mangler towards his way watches, so I don't think he will last that long. Okay, you can see, it uh, looks like I've misfired my rock lobber over there. Um, so maybe that was after magic. But anyway, magic was 4 to 3. I shot Vindictive Glare and took off a um, way stalker. Um, and I think with the art, yeah, well, look at that on my right. So it looks like both rock lovers have misfired. And I think I I have done a wound, I think, to the treatment up there, I think, possibly. Although maybe not, it's on six wounds, so who knows. But at some point, um, you know, I haven't taken too much. My artillery didn't do too much uh, this first turn. My wolf, wolf riders there too are in, I just planted them in the forest, um, facing backwards. <laughs> just, again, to see if I can get a charge arc if he brings any of his... Um, Elves out, not that they'll last in combat against elves. So he um, rolls up and yeah, the drives come on and they fit into this forest, so they pop out. So now um, he's got his shadow and... Uh, what is she? Life mage as well, another one. I didn't, sorry, I didn't cover his magic. So um, I think Dryker has... Um, the Branch Wraith, sorry, has Dwellers. So he can just six dice that now, not worrying about blowing her up. Um, you know, he's got a bunch of other life on the treatment, and then he got, got Pit and Miasma uh, with uh, Dryker. So his second turn, the scouts have moved around out of my arc of the uh, trolls there on the right, and I don't know, I think this was the Poison Glade Riders come on the board there, um, ready to do some damage over there. And now his Waystalker has moved up. You can just see him in front of my Wolf Rider boss there. Uh, just to chaff up them. We actually, uh, I do do a charge here, and we do the charge wrong, but I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, sorry if you need my phone going off in the background. Um, yeah, and he, all these zombies drives just spread them out a bit. Bit of movement, but not a whole lot. He gets five five magic phase. Uh, I let flash to stone through, and I think I you know threw dice at uh, dwellers or one of those other ones. Um, so yeah, he's got like a toughness. What is it? Uh, seven. Waste stalker, maybe not the right thing, but that's what I went with. Ah, uh, yeah, that mangler taken down by way watchers and <laughs> takes out the almost the entire unit here and also gets a wound on my shaman and poisons off my wyvern. So, yep, only lasted a turn. Ah, uh, this is what happened last time against elves and poison shots, it's just um. Yeah, at least I'm near the building and I can go in uh, and garrison. Once the unit's in there, I, the characters can garrison in, so uh, that's what I'll be planning on doing. So, turn two, my savages go in and my war boss joins them, so in that sense, if I can hold out in there, um, I'll get the five BPs for that, but uh, got to try and still do some damage to his guys. So, um, my trolls charged the uh, Waystalker. Uh, yeah, uh, he actually moved him straight up in like there and we sort of played it and then I was thinking, hey, I'm pretty sure um, I was in his flank, <laughs> technically, so it doesn't really mean too much, but it would have been my trolls would have had a uh, an awkward re, uh, reform after the combat, so um, 
but yeah, sort of just skipped past. I didn't realise until I was looking at these picks. But anyway, that's okay. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of other movement that I can see here. Yeah, you can see both rock lobs because they miss one turn one. They also can't turn uh, fight turn two, which is fire turn two, which is uh, annoying. I move the um, night goblins up. We shoot the fanatics through. One doesn't go far enough, but the other one does and kills a waste stalker. So I've got those two out of the way because, geez, they're deadly. Um, just being able to sniper is you know, it's the first priority to get rid of. Um, and my Doom Divers go to town over here, and both of them uh, that I had, and wipe off that Glade Rider unit. So that was good. That's what you want the artillery to do. That also forces a panic test on these scouts, and they flee, but don't get off the table. <laughs> so they go to there. But yeah, it's uh, reduced the uh, shots back at me th for the next turn at least. Um, I think remaining, um, maybe, we don't even know how, but I've taken up a few way watches up there. I don't know if that was magical. Yeah, it could have been. Um, so this combat, because yeah, he's toughness 7, I couldn't, I've only got one troll on him, two trolls on him, sorry, and um, and the big boss, but he challenges, so that's right, so he challenged, I couldn't move him anywhere, so um, yeah, it was just, you know, Gobbo versus Elf. Um, I couldn't put anything on him. He put one wound back on me, and because I had a charge and a rank, we actually beat him by one, but he's stuck. And so Elf turn three takes out my... Um, I can't remember what happened. I think he actually moved into my fanatics rather than shoot him. I think he just sort of moved up and wheeled. I think that's what it was. Um, so he took 2d6 strength 6 hits, uh, strength 5 hits, and wiped a bunch of dryads off, I think, is what happened when I'm looking at this. Um, yeah, because it looks like he has lost some dryads up there. But yeah, you can see he's not, has not a whole lot of movement. He's just shooting, peppering away, and getting points. That's, that's what they do, I guess. Um, <laughs> he fails to rally the scouts, good for me, and they go off the board. But his other Glade Riders come on. I think these guys are now the True Flights, and they've come on now. Uh, there. So Magic here was 10 to 5. He, got, he gets Vine up. He's been getting Vine up, and I've just been then dispelling it in my max turns, I think. Um... I throw my scroll at Dwellers, and I dispelled Flesh to Stone this time. He tried to cast it again on the Way Stalker, <laughs> so this time hopefully I can kill him. Um, yeah, he takes a few shots at the the Wolf Riders, takes a couple off, but I hold. Yeah, that my Gobbo's in this game. Uh, the whole tournament were actually good at passing a break test, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, the other shots that he had probably from these guys ended up taking them off, and yeah, my Rock Lobber passes its test. So <laughs> So there, it's pretty good. Uh, but these guys are all dead from the uh, Way Watchers. Finally, kill the Way Stalker here, and then into my turn three. So I don't do a whole lot in movement. I don't have a whole lot left. Uh, magic six to three. I hand the trolls behind. He's um. He's. Actually, yes, yeah, so I've handed my trolls over there. Actually, what I did, and I've missed the picture here, is you can see right at the top right, his scouts are behind the hill. Eh, maybe they went behind. I Either I, I think I declared a charge at them, and yeah, I did, I think, and they fled behind the hill or something like that, and then I, in magic, have magic uh, moved my guys over here, um, debating whether or not to charge the... Um, you know the tree. I've got a couple of potential charges there, depending on. I know if I go into the tree, and I'll probably I will get it in the end, but it's going to be. Um, yeah, you know, he'll be taking off almost a troll a turn with his tree whack, and I'll be needing hit five or sixes or something to wound it. So it's a you know it's a drawn out combat. But there's a lot of points there, but yeah, I don't know if it's worth it or not. Um, that's pretty much. You can see my pump wagon's moved over. I mean, really, I've just got artillery now. I'm just trying to shoot off. You know, I've whittled that middle unit of way watchers between the drives and the hill there are, um, you know, about half down, but I'm just not able to really... And I'm shooting them with bows too, and I'm just not able to knock off whole units, which is a bit frustrating. Um, into turn four, he's moved these guys back. These guys are the true flights, I think, so there's no need to be too close. So he just moves them back, and I think he's just shooting the other... Uh, Doom Diver, pretty much. And these scouts move behind the hill to, to get out of getting shot or something. Or, you know, I need to do indirects to hit them. 
the treeman here moves out of my arc, so that's decided that I can't charge him. Um, and then uh, magic was an 8 to 5 and the infinite uh, cast dwellers, <laughs> so that's going to hurt. I pass all my um, strength tests for my characters in this one, but uh, yeah, lose a bunch of orcs. Uh, which is what happens with dwellers. He gets, and then he's shooting unloads, gets a wound on this Doom Diver, and I think he gets another wound from the other guys. It's down to one wound, but it's still there. And then in my orc turn four, again, don't have a whole lot of movement, although I do charge the Dryads. Um, now, I don't know if that was the best move, but I just, you know, I, well, look, I eight trolls, they should maul that, you would think. And he's got two characters in there, so if I can destroy them and catch them, it's a buttload of points. Probably, I think it's around 800 points um, that I would get, and I really need the points, so, yeah, I go for it. Yeah, Pump Wagon's just heading over and making him, <laughs> you have to shoot me, if you don't, I'm going to run into you. Um, combat, yeah, but it was a bit of a surprise. We only, seriously, only just won. It didn't help that I only saved one in nine regens, which is so frustrating. Um, but he fails his break test and oh, he gets away, which was frustrating. Because now, and I'm right, I see, I, I'm right on the edge of my 12 inches from the building there, so I think I'm not stupid, but oh, I was half an inch in it. Uh, so he's turned five. The Glade Riders come through and take out my... Well, they're going <laughs> to take out my Rock Lobber. Uh, his Dryads rally too and spin around to face my Trolls. Um, Treeman debated going into the building now, but he decided not to. Uh, mainly because he wanted to throw Dwellers at it. <laughs> so there you go. They've rallied. But yeah, you can see he's, way, he's been regrowing too, sorry, um, with Magic. He's been regrowing these Way Watchers, so that's... Really stopped me getting points there. But to be honest, at this point, I'm just feeling like I've got the game. I'm in the building, you know. Hopefully I'll get these dry ads. You know, this is, yeah, it's, it was good. You know, other guys came over and they were like, yep, man, you're having trouble. Not not me, to the other player. You know, that I'd got him. Um, he gets double sixes on Dwellers again. <laughs> so now I go to dice. So I've got 15 guys left. And he killed my BSB. So, yeah. Um... And he's really not doing a whole... Obviously, he's got thrown up, so he's really doing no damage to himself. Actually, no, it's the other guy. So he's just taking off the odd... Um, it's the branch wraith that's got dwellers, and she's been getting good results. I think she's only killed a couple of dryads. That's it. But, yeah, now it's getting a bit dicey. I've only got 15 guys left. Um, so you never know. Um, my turn five... So my rock is actually dead over there. Um... I don't know what happened, why I didn't move my pump wagon, or maybe it's... Maybe you already did the overrun into that. I can't remember, but it looks like I haven't moved much there. Um, yeah, we, I mean, we just go straight into this, pretty much. Um, I charge again, and get in, and he holds. And we win again. So you can see... So this must be turn six. Sorry, I think I screwed some turns around. Anyway, oh no, no time. That's right. Sorry. Yeah, look at that. Flew through this, and time's been called. Um, so I got through five turns. That's what it was. Um, yeah. So time was called. So yeah, like I, so I belt up these dryads again. One in combat. Uh, he fled, and I failed to catch the dryads. Um, so I mean, yeah, I. <laughs> It wasn't until this point where I thought, I mean, I thought I had this game, I had this game. Um, I was in the building, should win, um, you know, I'd taken off, well, taken off some, only two, in the end I'm sitting there going, hang on, I've only taken off Glade Riders, one Scout, some Waystalkers, because in my head I was thinking, yeah, these drives are dead, but they ended up not. And so it ended up being a, um, yeah, ended up being a 6-9 to him because... You know, I just didn't get the points I needed, um, which was frustrating to say the least because, you know, I think I was in control most of the time, but in the end, maybe I wasn't. So probably should have been a bit better at focus firing on particular units, um, you know, trying my best. I mean, I was hitting, I remember I was going to try, I was trying to take the Wave Watchers out, but in hindsight, they're worth a, sh you know, a shitload of points. I should have really tried to focus a lot more, maybe even sent the trolls into them, um, but look, you know, beating the drives twice and not um, 
not being able to catch them at least once, you know. Yeah, well, the dice are like that, so it would have been an 800 point swing otherwise. Uh, objectives, though, we've got all that, so it was a five zip, and so sitting there, it's 11 to 9 win to me. However, the comp gets me again, <laughs> it switches by three, so I go down 12 8. Ah, frustrating, um, because of the comp. Uh, you got a pretty soft score, which you'd expect with that type of. Um, it's not really. It's a shooty list, but it's not a. It's not an avoidance list. I wouldn't call it. You know, he doesn't really have a heap of fast cab or anything like that. Um, so you know, magic missiles can destroy his army. Um, I guess that's true all the time with elves. But yeah, it was <laughs> frustrating. Um, hopefully, uh, getting these experiences up with these type of tournaments, I'll be able to get off the net lists a little bit and into something that's a bit. Um, yeah, a little bit different, so you don't get hit so hard on comp. Um, yeah, but that's, you know, I'm only a year into eighth. It's one of those things you learn. Um, yeah, all I can say it's frustrating. <laughs> so right now, four games, I'm sitting on one win, three losses, but I've won, uh, what is it, three out of the one, th out of three out of the four games, I've, I've scored full points on scenarios, which is what I wanted to do coming in, because, you know, they were such big, they were, you know, a quarter of your battle points were, were scenario based, so um, happy there. But um, unfortunately, because of comp and, and stuff, I'm just not getting the uh, wins. But that's okay. Um, not too unhappy with that. Anyway, uh, one game left, and um, I hope you like it. See ya.